Hey everyone, did you know that phishing accounts for 90% of data breaches? Understanding what a phishing email looks like can save you and your business from falling victim to an attack. Coming up, we will show you three different examples of phishing emails and what to look out for. After the video, stay tuned for a quick quiz to see how well you can recognize a malicious email. Before we get into it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when new videos are posted. All right, let's get started. When receiving emails, you should take a close look at a few things. Like the sender address. Do you know who the sender is? Does it look legit? How about the spelling, grammar, and punctuation? And the email address, subject line, body of the email, links and attachments, and the signature. What is the tone of the message? Is there a sense of urgency or threat? Are they asking for personal information like your login credentials? Don't forget to pay attention to the company logo and the contact information. Is it correct? Also, before clicking a link, hover over it so that the URL pops up. Are there spelling errors or weird symbols? If there are multiple links in the email to different spots on the site, make sure they match up. If you notice any of the above, it is more than likely a phishing email. But let's take a look at a few examples. The first email is from PayPal. The subject line reads, important, update your information account. From this alone, there is bad grammar and a space between account and the exclamation mark. In the first sentence, there is an extra space between you and the period. Below, the email doesn't use your name, instead PayPal user, which is odd because PayPal would know your name. Not to mention all the grammatical errors and the threatening tone. Next, we have an email from Amazon. Although the sender address looks legitimate, there are many other suspicious things about this email. You can see, nowhere in the email is there any Amazon branding. That's a little weird. There are many grammar and punctuation errors, along with some weird wording. Last, we have an email that appears to come from a reputable sender and doesn't have spelling, punctuation, or grammatical errors. This one can be a bit tricky to tell the difference right off the bat, but again, when you hover over the link, you can see that the URL that pops up is a redirect to an unknown site. Also, notice the tone in the email. The scammer is creating a sense of urgency and wants you to take action now, or else your emails will be lost forever. Not to mention the very informal signature. There you have it. Three different examples of phishing emails and how you can spot the differences between the real and fake ones. Don't forget to take the phishing quiz to put your skills to the test. If you're an Omega client, we offer Know Before, a security awareness training product at a discounted rate. Check out the link here and in the description below to learn more. Before you go, make sure to follow us on our social media and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.